Well, many parents breathed a huge sigh of relief as children around the West began to go back to school. As our social affairs correspondent Fiona Landon reports, some are resuming lessons, though others are still testing pupils ahead of a full return later this week or next. But for secondary school, things do look a little different. First of all, pupils are being asked if they'll be tested before they go back into the classroom. And once they're back in class, they're being asked to wear a mask throughout the school day. Assuming these students test negative, they're allowed back into lessons. The windows are open and we're trying to maintain some social distancing as well. At this secondary in South Gloucestershire, 96% of pupils have agreed to be tested and wear a mask. It's a big ask for children to wear masks from 8.40 in the morning till 3 o'clock, but we're particularly mindful of that. Um, and we are factoring in some little breaks for students. So where students have got longer lessons, the teacher might take them out for a bit of a mask break in the fresh air. These students are in year 11, getting ready for their GCSEs. It can be quite draining, a little bit distracting, but I feel it's a team effort and I feel like we all have to wear a mask and play our part in getting rid of this virus. People wear masks from the point of when you've been locked away and you don't want people to be silly about it because you know how much it can affect people. So when people wear masks, you know that they're going out extra mile to be safe. And if you swab three times on that side... There may be masks and tests, but the message from this group is clear. Woohoo! Back at school! Bring it on! Fiona Lambden, BBC Points West.